Украинская группа Даха Браха. Это Даха Браха. Даха Браха. Daha Braha is the Ukrainian main touring band. This kind of title has long been attached to this Ukrainian ethno group. Due to the extremely wide geography of performances from Colombia and Brazil to New Zealand and China, Daha Braha is often called the ambassador of Ukraine to the globe. Traditional Ukrainian folk singers by training a theatrical artistic director transformed them into an avant-garde performing arts group. Daka Braka loosely translates into give and take, and they're taking on their generation's greatest threat to Ukraine's culture. What's more opposite to music? The silence of ruined cities and killed people. It's not every year that the president of a nation gets on a major music award show and pleads for people to support their war effort. Feel the silence with your music. Feel it today to tell our story. But as strange as it may seem, this was no random publicity stunt. This was a calculated attempt to turn the tide in Ukraine's favor with an unlikely weapon. Like millions of Ukrainians, Marco, Elena, and Nina made the difficult decision to leave home. We have friends, especially I have children, friends who are the girls які воюють зараз і які ще вже 8 років воюють. The band is known for showing images of war during their performances. They started doing that 8 years ago after Russia's first invasion. Okay, let's go. This concert in Paris was a fundraiser for the Ukraine crisis. Thus far, Dacha Braka has raised over $100,000 to help relief organizations. But beyond their visuals, Dacha Braka's music, rooted in folk sounds and traditional melodies, is deeply connected to the history of Ukraine. It transcends many things. It's, they're definitely representing their culture, they're representing their nation, but they're also a theatrical band, they're also a band for the time where they're not trying to emulate a Western style. back to the Ukrainian war effort by continuing to tour and perform, drawing attention to the war and assault on their culture.